my name is Richard Schneider. I'm with Antennas Direct, and we're going around the country testing television antennas. Now, there's 210 television markets in the United States, and we're in Boston, Massachusetts, which is number nine. So we're going to do a channel scan of the Clearstream 2 antenna, which I just picked up at Best Buy. And we're going to test this antenna in a couple places around Boston, and we're going to see how many channels we get. So I, am, I have customers that actually try to get two markets at the same time. Um, Boston is obviously a gimme, but a lot of folks are also able to get Providence which the stations are about 35 to 40 miles um, from uh, the Boston downtown area. But a lot of people are able to get both markets with either a single antenna or they'll get a, two antennas and they'll combine them. So we're going to see if we can get two antennas, I'm sorry, two different television markets um, with a single antenna. What the objective today is, is I'm going to see if I can get not just the Boston market, but also Providence, Rhode Island, which is behind me, um, the stations are, the transmitting towers are between 35 to 45 miles that way behind me. And the television stations in the Boston area are five to 15 miles that way. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do an experiment. I don't think we're gonna have much trouble obviously getting stations 10 to 15 miles away with the with the clear stream too but i am interested in getting providence a lot of our customers actually write and tell us that they can get two stations um in the boston area i mean two separate markets i should say in the boston area so we're going to see obviously ideally uh it would be you would use two antennas and you'd use a combiner so we sell active combiners and um or even a passive combiner and you'd have one aiming this way and one aiming behind me you know two antennas or maybe a, a db8 aim you know with pivot points aiming in different directions but we're going to just going to try it i just picked this up uh clearstream 2 at best buy and we're going to we're going to see if we can get both markets and see how lucky we can get so we'll, we'll know in about five to ten minutes wish us luck All right, Richard Schneider reporting back from Boston Harbor. Uh, we just finished our channel scan with the Clearstream 2, and um, we were able to get 92 channels. So our Antenna Point app says that the Boston stations are this way about uh, 5 to 15 miles, and the Providence stations, according to Antenna Point, are this way between 35 to 45 miles and i was hoping that we could get we're just sitting here on the pier setting it on a on a on a cement um countertop here and we're shooting through a bunch of buildings obviously this is not an ideal elevation to get reception at 45 miles but we were able to get a few boston uh providence channels the boston ones were no problem but we got some out of market channels so i'm very happy with that result Obviously, if you were to put this on your roof, you'd have, um, might, you might pick up a few additional channels and, and some low powers. Um, but yeah, we sort of split the distance according to Antenna Point. So we're shooting sort of between Providence and the Boston transmitters, trying to average both. Uh, the Clearstream 2 has a fairly wide beam angle of about 45 degrees. So it's like using a shotgun uh, rather than a rifle. Um, but if you're really serious about getting, you live in the Boston area and really want to get the Providence station, you know, more directional antenna, you know, might give you a few more channels. 
especially if you used it in conjunction with a combiner and a Clearstream 2. So if you used a Goliath, you'd probably get a few more channels out of uh, Providence. So, but anyways, for a Goldilocks antenna, not too big, not too small, um, kind of low, low profile, something that would fit in your windowsill or on the roof and not attract a lot of attention. This is a nice, happy medium. And it's available, like I said, I just picked this up at the uh, local Best Buy. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. And remember, 92 channels in digital, uh, that's a lot of content that you don't have to pay for. So um, a lot of people think they have to have 16 different streaming services. And this is the whole point of us going around the country and doing channel scans, is we're trying to show that you don't have to pay for digital TV, or you don't have to necessarily have 16 streaming services. You know, get an antenna like this. You know, you could easily get 70 to 90 channels in this market with a Clearstream 2 uh, and get one streaming service. You know, save thousands of dollars a year. It's not that hard. We have just gotten back from Boston, Massachusetts. And a lot of uh, customers call us and say, hey, Richard, we're trying to get not just the Boston stations, but also stations out of Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, which is roughly 45 to 50, mile, uh, 50 miles away. And I thought that might be a good experiment. Um, so I went to our local Best Buy uh, in Boston and I bought a Clearstream 2. And I went to different locations around the area and I went to the wharf. And the wharf area was roughly, you know, five to 20 miles away from the transmitters in the Boston market. So not a lot of a challenge to get those stations. Um, but I wanted to see if we could actually get the Providence stations and the Boston stations with a single antenna. So what we, what we did is we kind of averaged the distance. And uh, lo and behold, uh, let me check my notes here. We got a whopping 91 channels um, with a single Clearstream 2, no shenanigans, no amplifiers, no multiple antennas, no combiners, nothing like that. Just kind of averaging the distance. So I heard you can get a few more than that. Um, again, we're actually at the wharf, so at sea level and um, having to fight through buildings. So I can imagine a rooftop installation, you would get maybe a few extra channels. And then some of our customers actually buy multiple antennas which those are the best kind of customers because they're buying more than one antenna. And they're, they're hooking them up to a combiner and they've got one antenna squarely aimed uh, due south at Providence and one aimed due west to the, to the stations in uh, Boston. So, but just not even really with a lot of trying, we we're able to get 91 channels reliably um, with, the, um, with the Clearstream 2. And the, and the Clearstream 2 is our most popular antenna. It's sold at Best Buy. Um, and it's, it's probably our biggest seller on the website as well. And it is kind of like a shotgun. So where the Goliath is, has higher gain than the Clearstream 2, um, this would be a lot more forgiving. And I use the comparison a lot of like a flashlight. So if you're kind of shining a flashlight you can get a lot of coverage, um, but when you focus the beam, um, you can get make it much more intense, but you don't have coverage outside of the beam. And that's kind of like the Goliath. The Goliath, if you were to aim it, you might get markets, you know, really all around um, the Boston area. Um, but the Clearstream 2 is kind of, it's kind of a, 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 a wider beam angle and has a much more forgiving air aiming characteristic. Um, but what also helps is it's extremely, extremely efficient. So almost all the signal that the Clearstream 2 collects makes it down the cable and to your TV receiver. And that's kind of our secret sauce with these taper loops is they're the most efficient antennas in the category. Um, and so that's how we're able to make them much, much smaller uh, than antennas that might existed in your grandparents' day that might've been you know, the size of a conference room table. So this is not only powerful, but it's also really efficient. So if you're not happy with 91 channels, um, well then you can always buy multiples. <laughs> so this was a fun experiment and uh, Boston was a lot of fun to do um, channel scans in. So we're gonna go off 
We're going to do a few more channel scans uh, next week, and uh, I'm excited to see what happens. So wish us luck.